वंदे गुरुपद द्वंदम भक्त बिंदु समन्वित से चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नित्यानंद सहोदित से नंद 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 वंदे राधिका चरणाद गोपीजन समयुक्त विद्यावन मनोहर वाछा कल्पतरु वश्य के पास सिंधु भविष्य पतितान पावन भविष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम कंकरोति वाचालंघयति गिरी यदि पातमहंगे परमानंदमाधव बिंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच शिण भक्ति पद देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरता देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोतर ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टो तीर्थास्पद शिव विरुंचनुत शरण्य भेतात्ति हम पुनदपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरणिंद यदपल्लवन कचंदमि छटा विस्फुजीत किमी कबोधुषदर्शी पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामय कदा काम करोषि श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निदानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्त बिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निदानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्त बिंद श्री श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निदानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्त बिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनका वदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरो कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा पुतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदो दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावाण सदा नर गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंग मदापहार वरानुसीपुरपति भज विशनाथ वागीशजुषु भदने लक्ष्मीजस्व च बक्षसी यस्ते संभी 
Shing Amahamadi Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Jalaja Navalakshani Stavara Lakshavinshati Kramayo Ruddha Shankaka Pakshinam Dashalakshanam Trinkshap Lakshani Pashavaha Chatur Lakshani Manasha Jalaja Navalakshani Stavara Lakshavinshati Kramayo Ruddha Shankaka Pakshinam Dashalakshanam Trinkshap Lakshani Pashavaha Chatur Lakshani Manava Gauri Gostipati Gauri Gostipati Shri Shila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Paramahans Jagat Guru told Gauri Gostipati Shishila Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Paramahans Jagat Guru told that just by going to uh, going down and down to the whole Brahmand if your luck is very good when you are getting the association of pure Guru Vaishnav you are actually meeting and getting the association of pure Guru Vaishnav you are getting the darshan of pure Guru Vaishnav and uh, apart from that you are actually listening some Harikatha from the lotus mouth Bhagwan, Sri Krishna speaking to Arjun that O oh Arjun this from Brahma till the end down to the end like this cyclic order of birth and death is going on of this there is no uh, no solution of it, of this at all this will go on and on in cyclic order but Bhagwan. He is actually taking our test all the time. Bhagwan Shri Hari is testing us all the time. And uh, he, is give, he, is t- he is just arranging a lot of tests in front of us. And this test, if we are actually getting failed, then everything is finished. If some person, one person actually asking Prabhupada that uh, that Prabhupada actually, what do you mean by actually testing? It means that it is actual causeless mercy of Bhagwan. That if uh, testing of Bhagwan, that so much strict to test Bhagwan is actually taking us. Without testing, uh, uh, jivas are not at all accepted by Bhagwan. Different different kind of testing Bhagwan is. Uh, uh, putting in front of the jivas. Very, very strict testing Bhagavan is actually putting in front of all the jivas. When Bhagavan is saying that that he will be doing my bhajan, he will come to me, then he is actually testing. Different, different kind of testing and uh, testing Bhagavan is actually putting and after that, when he is uh, totally and when he is getting knocked down here and there, after that, he is accepting his devotee. Otherwise, every person can get accepted by Bhagwan. How it is possible? He is actually foolish number one. No, they are unintelligent. That they don't want to come to Bhagwan at all. You just need to get eligible before going to Bhagwan. So that's why testing is done. That testing platform is being put by Bhagwan, and it is one kind of mercy. Yes, definitely it is the causeless mercy of Bhagwan. So much strict testing. Oh my God, how it is possible? That so strict testing of Bhagwan, it is actually causeless mercy. How it is possible? Indra Maharaj, he has done one aparad. And for that, he got the he got the birth of a pig. 
Prabhupada is actually speaking and writing this point. In that it is already written in the uh, some uh, shastras as well. He got the birth in Apek, Indra Maharaj. He has done such a aparad. You can't even expect. Just he is taking all stool and urine. And when his punishment, that uh, his curse, when it is already, uh, it is just uh, coming up to an end. When the curse of him, of to Indra is coming up to an end, then that time Brahmaji Maharaj coming there to Indra and actually speaking to Indra that, Oh Indra, no, let's go to Swarg, to heaven. There you have to go to heaven back. And your curse actually is already gone. Your time is already ended up. And the period of your t- curse, it is already ended. No, he is actually not at all going, <laughs> Indra. He don't want to go to heaven now. Why you go to heaven? Come with me. What is heaven? What the weather there? That blood and st- you stool I will get. Stool and urine will get. You're a foolish. You need stool and urine. You will get nectar. No, no, I don't need a nectar. I need only <laughs> stool and urine. You see, Prabhupada speaking this. That in hell also, Prabhupada actually has written one story. He will actually going to hell. In hell, he is actually going. The person wants uh, happiness there in hell as well. In hell also, he wants happiness. There, In hell also, there is uh, enjoyment. Yes. And uh, he don't want to... Uh, he, in uh, hell also, enjoyment is there. He don't want to quit that at all. So that's why Brahmaji Maharaj speaking. And he has told that, okay, everything is done. You have to go to heaven. Let's go. <laughs> there I will get <laughs> stool and urine. Uh, definitely you getting nectar. No stool and urine is there. No, no, no. He is got Brahma seen that uh, he already has got uh, attached to this uni or pig. So he actually done one thing. In front of him, what he has done, each and every child and is getting killed in front of his eyes. Uh, and uh, his child just getting knocked down by Brahmaji Maharaj and was killed by Brahma. One by one. And the pig was becoming very much angry. Are you are killing my son? Like this Indra thinking in that uh, uh, pig body. And after that the uh, wife, Suari, that she, she pig, Brahmaji Maharaj killed that. When uh, Suari also got killed and all the child were killed. And uh, he is just getting darkness in his eyes. Oh my God. He has just become so weak after seeing this all scenario. After that. He actually is uh, just uh, going to understand. It means that that false ego is there inside your heart. That false ego inside our heart. That our own false ego will stay in front of us. Up till that point he will not at all. Uh, he will be unable to hear us. That's why Bhagwan is just taking one by one everything. Wife, husband, everything is killed one by one. Are, what is Bhagwan? Huh? He, everyone, everything is ge- killed by Bhagwan. Who is this Bhagwan? So like this, we don't have that faith in Bhagwan. Prabhupada speaking. Like, like Shastra, student, Shastra, student, like student, that all those students, they are going, uh, they are in order to go to the other class, like in order to get promoted to other class, there is one kind of uh, testing for them. If they will pass the test, pass the terminal exams, then from one, first to second, second to third, four, fourth to fifth class, they will just get promoted like that. And the sixth class and from sixth to seventh class, they will get promoted like that on the basis of their examinations. That is the actual rules and regulations that the students, they will get the examination and they have to clear that in order to get promoted to the, the examiners are just preparing one kind of terminal exam for them. And after clearing those terminal exams, they will just be going uh, to the upper, they will promote it to the next uh, standard of uh, their uh, classes. So Prabhupada speaking, there's those who are thinking. For them, this uh, testing is just like uh, one kind of enjoyment. Whatever kind of testing they are getting, it is more and more enjoyment for them. 
for the all those students it is better all those kind of examinations are is very good and it is full of anand and happiness for them but those who are not at all doing any kind of attention no sincerity is there toward their studies for them it this kind of examination is one kind of burden for them and and is very disappointing for them to and is very dangerous in their life they can't it will just uh, put fear inside their heart are oh my god that examination is there not attentive those are not sincere a log le for them this examination is just like uh, a hanging rope it is full of uh, uh, sadness deep sadness for them propa speaking like this in a similar way those those people who are on in the on the name of prachar on the name of preaching all those foolish people those who are fraudsters they are actually just to preaching sense gratification they are actually preaching sense gratification in the name of uh, krishna bhajan and they are actually speaking what uh, are the opinions of an common people in uh, context to that they are actually speaking not against them then definitely for those people there is no kind of problem at all no disappointment no impediments can come in their way why because they are actually adjusting with maya devi but those who are actually going towards absolute truth the transcendental truth for them lot of problems lot of problems will come in their way and from all the directions they will be facing problems they will be facing problems from each and every end lot of problems they have to face in their life those people who are actually just preaching maya 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 thoughts they are getting a name fame position and apart from that they will not at all get anything because they are actually speaking all uh, ad- adjustment proper adjustment with maya but whatever the actual uh, talks transcendental talks of uh, bhagavat seva those people who are doing that that strict siddhant which are about that absolute truth if that the actual atma nitya vritti about the talks regarding that and the actual natural in the actual uh, uh, talking talks related with bhakti if you are actually speaking in front of a jiva then each and every fraction of second in each and every fraction of second problems and barrier will come in every fraction of second and step problems will definitely appear in front of you you just need to face those all kind of fatal difficulties in your life different different kind of different different kind of problems and fatal difficulties you have to face and it will just disappoint you more and more and your enthusiastic mood for seva it going to break that completely and it will destroy you completely different different kinds of uh, problems and difficulties it will just break your enthusiastic mood of bhagavat seva that your uh, uh, utsaha for a particular thing for a for bhagavat seva it it is going to get destroyed but those who are actually already surrendered onto that bhakti pathway those who are apart from bhakti they are not at all following any other pathway for those people with full uh, patience and full enthusiastic mood those who are following the pathway of bhakti those who have taken the pathway of bhakti for them they just need to open their hair uh, ears and hear that kind of topmost difficulties and problems and whatever barriers are coming in the way of bhakti it will be lot loads and loads will be there and our mahaprabhu our prabhu jagannath sachinandan hum log ka our gaurang our hum log ka prabhu bhakti our bhakti towards prabhu that kind of seva vritti towards prabhu bhagwan definitely gonna test us a lot and will be giving in front of us different different kind of barriers and barriers and problems it will come in the way of our uh, uh, doing bhajan we just need to understand one thing here we just need to understand this point uh, really carefully 
that Bhagwan, that our own Prabhu Bhakti has so much love for us, and He is testing us and just uh, putting different different kind of tests in, and difficulties in front of us, so that we can uh, face those difficulties and we can pass the test. That how much faith I have onto onto lotus feet of Bhagwan and Guru Vaishnav, and how much patience I have inside me, and uh, the. Ud- and that would come inside our heart which is actually slowly steadily increasing. Bhagavan is actually making this kind of condition even in our life so that we can fully depend on Him. So, we have to go slowly steadily further and further in the way of Bhagavad Seva. That kind of chesta and that pathway is going to open but definitely testing will be there in our life. Nama Charja Haridas Thakur you see how much testing Bhagavan has taken. Just like uh, his bones are crushed in the 22 markets, he is just beaten in 22 markets by those j- jailers. And uh, about Prahlad Maharaj also, you have seen a lot of discrimination has been done. But the Seva Bhava of Prahlad Maharaj and humble mood over and faith, firm faith over Bhagwan and enduring power is so much uh, endless was endless in Prahlad Maharaj and we just need to accept about uh, Haridas Thakur and Prahlad Maharaj that kind of adarsh of seva and Bhagavad's firm faith on uh, Bhagavad Tattva that kind of uh, patience that kind of adarsh we need to bring same adarsh we just need to accept that in our life and with full faith with firm faith with firm faith and determination and with full inter- enthusiastic mood we need to get in indulge in seva all the time bhagavad seva we just need to get fixed in bhagavad seva all the time you see the person uh, the bonded jivas are actually go, uh, going on to this materially worldly uh, things and so much uh, uh, he is actually making efforts to get uh, succeed in this material things but just to get these external material happiness uh, all the material bonded jivas are actually busy in getting that all the time and because of this and because of this and because of this that infinity and infinity buts he is actually taking risk of just change, taking get getting into the cycle of infinity cycle of birth and death he is cutting the risk of that because he is actually getting all the kind of attractive objects of this material world, he is getting attracted to that. Thousands and thousands of examples are there. Thousands and thousands of Upadesh, Nirdesh and all kind of logics and arguments. Warnings. Infinity, after giving infinity examples. If a person he is going towards all those uh, infinitesimally uh, infinite as a material wish and at the last time of his life it can go, go up till that point but not for spiritual benefit just for material benefit that uh, in for thousands and thousands of examples if someone is actually seeing if a person is actually just going towards those material things in order to get them practically in his life and this kind of uh, uh, mind and intelligence is not getting and but uh, then what will happen that at the last uh, at the time of his death also he just need to face lot of difficulties but those who are actually intelligent persons for those who are actually intelligent that those ma- they those mahabhagavat devotees that kind of trikal sakta means that paramsat absolute truth and the absolute vani just by uh, taking that and following that that uh, he will be destroying this uh, two two minutes life he will be destroying it completely and everything he will sacrifice for the life of pure Guru Vaishnava and Bhagavan it is so much surprising to see this kind of point which is very rare the shlok which I have started with the shlok which I have started with is a very uh, amazing and a very surprising shloka which I have discussed Paras 
very surprising shloka this is in that shloka it's already written in that shloka it is written what it is what is written in that shloka it is written in this material world there are 84 lakh species just by getting into that cycle of 84 lakh species that after that only he has just gone up to that human being species 9 lakhs out of that they are actually those who species which are living in water and those species who are living in water they are actually 9 lakh in number nine lakh different species of category and and for trees fruits and uh, uh, they are actually 20 lakhs they also have their consciousness chetna so that's why they are actually having 20 lakhs different categories regarding that all those birds bats it means they are actually 11 lakh in number all those beasts uh, beast and birds they 11 lakh different categories of beast and birds are there kimayo rudh sanka kimal ka andar mein kya kahta hai ki patangos shari se kites bats by this if you collecting that all birds and beasts they are actually 11 lakh khechar 10 lakh on different kind of birds there are actually 10 lakh different species and the actual beast beast uh, uh, they are actually 30 lakhs different categories is there of the beast and uh, human beings having 4 lakh different species if those who are just getting into this cycle of birth and that slowly steadily and again further and further they are actually getting into this circle, circle and after that at last we are getting this human birth so that's why it is written like this in this shloka human birth is very rare to get the love of is very rare to get labdha sudur lav vidam bahu samma mante manushya martha do manittam api hadhiro dur nam jatit na patit anumittu yavat nishesay ha khalu bishay so you can uh, understand this this very rare human birth and in rup samhita also this point actually getting manifested in front of us in drum samhita it is actually written What actually written here? Indro Gopu Matho Bendro Mahos Karmo Banyan Rupa Phalo Vajanam Atano Ti Karmani Nirda Hati Kintu Cha Bhakti Bajam Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamam Bajami. Is me? In this, yesterday I was actually discussing. Indro Gop Nam Kai Chuka Sakira. one name uh, there is one kind of insect there of called indragop 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 there is one kind of very small infinitesimally small insect is there and devata ganu ka andar mein and inside all the demigods even that even indra uh, god is all even demigod indra god may be there and in the karma marg that jeevas all the jeevas takshapat that kind of uh, pakshapat means favoritism that there is no partiality and bhagwan har jeevu ka for each and every jeeva apna apna he is according to our own karm phal they are getting the fruit of their own karm phal bhagwan is giving that in that support i have already told you regarding this this i have already told you and again i have told bahut 
दो द एक्चुअल फ्रूट ऑफ द कर्म एक्चुअली भगवान इज गिविंग दैट यू हैव दैट एलिजिबिलिटी टू डू कर्म यू हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ एलिजिबिलिटी यू आर इंडिपेंडेंट टू डू कर्म बट द एक्चुअल फ्रूट वॉट यू गेट आउट ऑफ दैट कर्म देर इज नो देर इज नो राइट ऑफ यू इन दैट एट ऑल दैट आई द आई हैव गॉट द एलिजिबिलिटी टू डू द कर्म बट द फ्रूट्स आर नॉट इन माई हैंड एट ऑल फ्रूट्स इज इन हैंड ऑफ भगवान वॉट ही गॉन एंड डू वेदर गुड और बैड सो इन दिस वे भगवान श्री कृष्ण जस्ट मैनिफेस्टिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अर्जुन दैट एट दैट वैन एट द टाइम ऑफ इंद्र महाराज यज्ञ वॉज गोइंग कृष्ण एंड बन राम वर एक्चुअली वेरी स्मॉल बॉयज एंड दे आस्ट दो 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 देर फादर दैट फादर वॉट यू आर डूइंग एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ उद्योग वॉट कैंड हाउ एक्चुअली दिस काइंड ऑफ उद्योग इज कमिंग वॉट फॉर वॉट पर्पज यू आर गेटिंग कन्फ्यूज दैट आफ्टर दैट नंद उपानंद अधिनंद एवरी वन दे आर एक्चुअली ऑल सीनियर एंड ताऊ जी एवरी वन एक्चुअली इट इज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दे आर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट यू सी बेटा दैट वी आर एक्चुअली फार्मर्स वी आर एक्चुअली डूइंग द वर्क ऑफ लैंड एंड वी आर डूइंग फार्मिंग वी आर डूइंग द वर्क ऑफ काउस एंड इफ रेनफॉल विल नॉट कम इफ रेनफॉल वोट कम देन इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर अस टू सस्टेन Why? Because all those grasses which you can see, that rice, ghee, everything, if it is there, that's why we are actually worshiping Indra. Because if uh, rainfall will not be there, because he is the actual god, demigod of rain, and he will get happy, then rainfall can come down, and we can get vegetable and whatever farming, and our all problems will get destroyed. Then Bhagwan Sri Krishna is speaking. then bhagwan shri krishna his father he is speaking to nand maharaj what actually written here what actually written here karma na jate jantu karma phal ka anusar that according to your own karma the, the you are getting this uh, subtle and gross body that by karma only actually the wanted jeeva is getting into this uh, uh, all the activities of this maya if ishwar uh, someone is there then you know we have to f- uh, do all puja of that indra who is it actually who is, who is in there actually yeah, that he can give rain for that we can get our karma phal according to that we will get the result bhagwan krishna balram they have just described vedanta what indra can do what is his power You tell me that what Indra can do. That our own karma fall, we will actually have to face the result of that. You see, he has just got into uh, the dog yoni, and he is just staying like a king. You just be careful on this point. What I am speaking. A dog, uh, one jiva, he has taken birth in the form of a dog. Definitely, he has taken birth in the dog family, but he just look uh, stays like king. You understand that that he is actually staying in a very uh, healthy and family, a healthy and rich family, and in their uh, family, tiger, deer, dog, everyone is staying there in their house. So you see what kind of uh, position one dog is getting. Even on the same bed, they are actually taking food and just sleeping with that same dog on the same bed. You see the condition. Oof. So much this dog. so much respect is having and you see 
even one uh, one child uh, of a human being he is not at all getting food i have already seen it on the kadakpur station that when i was coming from iit when i came to iit uh, when i came to the station one small when one uh, mother she is taking my small boy in her lap and uh, with tea she is giving after getting one tea that pound poverty means loaf loaf of bread he is actually dipping that in the tea and giving it to the child whether that child is having no just a milk yielding boy milk feeding boy but he don't have any teeth also but still i have already seen this practically that you see the child of that dog he is just staying like a king and even the human being a child he is just living like a dog this is also definitely some reason can be there behind that with because without reason the actual thing you cannot start at all without actual reason you cannot start the a particular thing definitely cause is there so in this conclusion i have already told you regarding this in the purport of this conclusive um, commentary i have, I have already told that bonded jeevas that karam phal what they are getting and uh, bhagwan is actually mute on the neutral platform by just giving them the uh, results of their food ishwar by guru nanushtita karma that he can give the topmost uh, uh, karma to that jeeva i'll just tell you again like the case like in this birth you have done some kind of karma and in this birth what kind of karma you have done that the actual sanskar if it will stay inside your heart according to that only you will get the birth in your next birth you will get you will get your next birth that uttar karyo karma pravritti what you are doing this birth and that sanskar will just get developed to get you the body for the next birth so like this is the actual rules and regulations in this material world whatever kind of activities you are doing then the other birth you will take after this uh, leaving this body definitely that plus and minus the debit debit and credit of the fruit karma will be going of deeds will be done and whatever stayed it will be that remnant of the sanskar it will go uh, with the, the atma to the next body like the fragrance of the flowers by the help of air it is coming into my nostrils and it is just giving one kind of sensation uh, in my nose why because there is one kind of lotus flower smell is there that is called apurva in the veda it is written this plus minus of the karma phal of our pre- this karm this karma phal and previous karma phal plus minus whatever kind of remnants will be remain that kind of karma will just go with our fine body and atma towards the next body that is called apurva apurva means it is not beautiful that it it is it, this name is apurva apur means residue of the karma which is left so bonded jeevas in their life that karam phal bhagwan actually is on a neutral platform and is just giving the fruit on standing on that neutral platform ishwar that according to your previous sanskar and previous karam phal what you got and he is giving you on the basis of your previous and uh, present life and no one can do anything in this because it is one kind of automatic procedure like in computer though you if you will be doing everything you can just save it in your computer automatically in the same way bhagwan parmatma in the form of parmatma he is just seeing everything inside your heart and just saving everything so this is actually told about the uh, bonded condition of bonded jiva but for devotees bhagwan having that special kripa on them that is naturally there for bhagwan having natural kripa special kripa so that's why the actual mool of the karma of all those jivas and karma vasna desires towards doing karma this kind of all things by this 
अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट धर्म एंड वॉट एवर धर्म धर्म एंड अधर्म वॉट इज एक्चुअली देयर इट इज एक्चुअली भगवान डिस्ट्रॉइंग दैट कम्प्लीटली भगवान इज एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रॉइंग दैट कम्प्लीटली एंड पुट इन टू एश इज दो धर्म एंड अधर्म कर्म इज एक्चुअली फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टाइम बट स्टिल इट कैन गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड इट कैन कम टू एन एंड कर्म मे बी कर्म इज अनादि फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टाइम बट स्टिल कैन कम टू एन एंड डेफिनेटली इट हैज सम स्पेशल प्रोसीडियर कर्म इफ इट्स फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टाइम इट्स कमिंग स्टिल इट इज एक्चुअली इट इज डिस्ट्रक्टेबल इट कैन बी डिस्ट्रॉयड दोज पर्सन हु आर टेकिंग दिस डिजायर ऑफ द फ्रूट्स विच दे विल गेट ऑफ दैट आउट ऑफ दैट कर्म डेफिनेटली देयर डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कर्म विल नेवर कम टू एन एंड इफ दे विल बी डिजायरिंग द फ्रूट्स ऑफ देयर कर्म these people with having desires of the fruits of their karma what they are performing those who are having that desire and they are doing their karma according to their desires definitely their karma will not get destructive destroy at all it will not at all destroy at all and they have to go on keep into the cycle of birth and that in the similar way in the sanyas dharma also that ashram chitta karma which is very special that sanyas karm is also ashram kar- karm speciality is there maybe our prabhupad shridhar goswami maharaj keshav goswami maharaj everyone they are having sanyas externally they are sanyas externally they are having sanyas because they are actually paramhans they are paramhans just by their own will they are actually having this red cloth i also have to take red cloth for preaching a lot of devotees are actually speaking that uh, normal vesh this white vesh you are the others are not at all are taking that so that's why i will be taking this vichar that yes i will take the red vesh red cloth now what to do like autom- automatically i have taken this red cloth on my shoulder i have already told they are actually so much unintelligent and they are actually just speaking opposite are is actually be baba huh? who will actually hear to him that's why unknowingly also i have taken that cloth of sanyas sanyas cloth that sanyas dharma that is ashma chit karma vishesh that karma vishesh is there speciality is there of the karma if that moksha spriha is there that desire for getting moksha this kind of uh, fruit you want out of that then definitely for krishna that priti that it will it is not at all uh, satisfying krishna so this is this will not satisfy krishna at all so that's why those people who are having this moksh moksha kamna spriha they are having that for them also they have are getting the fruits of their own karma accordingly and in the atyatmik and in the atyantik swarup if they are actually nishkam without any desire that atmaramata roop just be uh, careful on this point when i'm speaking if sometimes inside he is actually nishkam he don't have any desires material desires but still that in nitant in nitant swarup if he is actually nishkam without any desire inside his heart that atmaramata you and don't get given haven't got my point when i'm speaking if in ekantik and nityan swarup he is actually nishkam nishkam without any desire if that atma ramata swarup that uh, very uh, uh, very fine fruit he is getting out of that atma ram means that for seva he is not at all getting uh, that excitement to do seva he has no excitement regarding seva at all only and only he wants to get into the brahm <laughs> you understand the point so those that kind of fruits desire regarding moksha that all those uh, sanyasis those who are having this followers of this moksha spriya bhagwan is not at all getting satisfied and krishna priti they will not at all develop inside them and they are also doing their karma and according to that karma they are actually getting the fruits out of that and if you are speaking that if they have got nishkam swarup 
that after getting nishkam also if inside their heart that atmaramata to that atmaram bhav is there that that atmaram swarup that very fine fruit of that uh, uh, karma he will get that but those people who are pure devotees for them they are actually uh, getting without any kind of uh, expectation from krishna they are whatever anukul bhav they are actually taking that what vaman goswami maharaj writing that sanatan goswami paaj writing this that with full anukul bhav they will be taking up the dev- pure devotional service towards krishna so those who are pure devotional have service and without any kind of uh, <coughs> any kind of desire regarding gyan and karma they are just throwing that away and with full anukul bhav they are actually doing krishna anushilan with that what will happen that bhagwan shri krishna is that for each and every karma desire whatever they are having everything uh, krishna will destroy that from their heart after having nirapeksh also krishna krishna is 100% nirapeksh krishna is 100% nirapeksh there is no doubt but still he is after nirapeksh also still krishna for devotees he is actually at the side of devotees that is naturally there in krishna this is naturally there bhagwan already speaking this bhagwan already speaking this point himself maybe i am nirapeksh but still for devotees i am on the side of devotees why because devotees how what kind of devotee he is on the side if someone actually putting some argument that which kind of devotee if someone speaking that how bhagwan is nirapeksh yes definitely bhagwan is nirapeksh only bhagwan is nirapeksh that in this whole material world for infinity world he is nirapeksh but for devotees he is on a, a slightly positive side now if one someone questioning an argument with us that there is question answer is there that bhagwan is 100% nirapeksh bhagwan is on neutral platform always he is no particular with bhagwan at all bhagwan is not at all uh, uh, on any of the side for each and every person he is neutral but for devotees he is not like that because devotees actually is on the nirgun platform you have understand the point what i am speaking bhagwan is actually he is already there on nirgun platform and devotees are also on nirgun platform bhagwan on the nirgun platform bhagwan is on the nirgun platform and devotees are also at nirgun platform only and their position is orgo also is nirgun the devotee's position so nirgun platform if bhagwan is actually definitely be on the side of devotees but in general if you see all the other people of this material world bhagwan is 100% nirapeksh bhagwan is 100% nirapeksh and bhagwan told in the kurukshetra war that i am not at all at any side i am will remain nirapeksh but bhagwan can stay nirapeksh not at all not at all bhagwan have told already in i will be remaining nirapeksh but he can be staying there no not at all he got against pitama bhishma he just taking the chakra in his hand to just uh, beat him to kill him so in this bhagwan actually having in this bhagwan having no fault at all in this bhagwan is having no fault at all jastu indro gopo matho vendra maho sakarmo bandanu rupo phalo bhajanam atanoti karmani nirdahati kintu cha bhakti bhajam gobindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami eva so this actually 54th the fourth number shlok i have already discussed with you and now in the 55th number shlok is actually coming in this some very important which are special which are is there i will just tell you that krodho kamo sahajo pranayadi bhiti basallo moh guru gauravo shep bhavai san sanchinto tasyo sadrishin tanu ma tanu ma purite tanu ma purete 
What actually written here? What written here? Written? What does it mean actually? Just be careful and have this vichar. What is actually written? What does it mean? The actual meaning is that that anger, calm, sakhya swarup, fear, vatsalya, moha, by that serving move towards Guru Bha, all this, those who are actually getting intention just by remembering them, just by remembering them, maybe Bhagwan is actually achintya and uh, just by remembering that Bhagwan, it doesn't mean that it is material t- uh, tension or material uh, remembrance. Again, this point is coming here, that in Rai Ramanan Samhain already it is coming there. Bhagwan is actually achintya. This is the actual uh, remembrance, uh, the actual uh, point. Bhagwan is actually achintya. Yes, definitely he is achintya. Bhagwan is achintya. This is actually true. But that uh, the remembrance of that Bhagwan, that pathway, that after uh, just going away, that kind of uh, transcendental remembrance, we have to realize, practically realize that. You understand the point? In this material world, after just uh, uh, not remembering the material remembrance, there is one kind of uh, uh, land of prema. There is one platform of prema you get after uh, uh, not uh, obeying the remembrance of material platform at all. You are getting the transcendental platform. That by prema only, that by prema only Bhagwan we can uh, know Bhagwan. It is already, whether it is written that by Prem, Bhagwan cannot be remembered at all. You cannot know. In reverse, I have already told a lot of time before you and I have given you this attention and carefulness. This I have already told you. No? It means that Prem Ruchu Anjan, that black of Prema, that only by that only you can see Bhagwan. So this again this prasang is coming. About this, next week, I think so, it is not possible because Gaur Purnima will be going on. And after that, in the uh, 17th of April, on the 17th of April, on Ram Naomi, Harikatha actually will start again. So, at that time, it will start. Then I will tell you that Narutam Das Thakur Kirtan, what like, the how they are taking undue advantage out of that. This already told, lot of uh, description I have given, you are not at all remembering, you go to Rai Namanan Samvad and then you can, I have already given the uh, conclusion and purport in that.
that I will definitely tell you when again we will start it because I think that Brahm Samhita in order to complete again one one and a half month will, it will take maybe it can take two months as well then only Brahm Samhita will get finished just by the desire of all devotees by the instructions of devotees Upadesh Amrit Brahm Samhita Manasiksha Siksha Ashtakam everything by the devotees all from Punjab, here, there, everything by there, they have instructed me that I am actually trying to follow their instructions. They told me that Maharaj, if you can give us the description detail, then before, uh, after leaving body also, this uh, topmost uh, jewel, it will stay with us. They have just instructed me. That's why on the basis of that instruction, I am going on. I don't have any desire of myself. So, and by Sibhibhav serving mood that by whom you can remember him all the time that those Anushilan Karis that kind of topmost Bhav that transcendental Bhav you are getting that with full uh, uh, affection that kind of topmost uh, uh, affection you can get towards Bhagwan, that Chinmay transcendental Anandmay that Jeev is definitely there these qualities are there in Jeeva and that same Adipurush Bhagwan Govind I am actually worshipping him here Durla and Tanu this word is actually speaking here what does it mean here just be careful on this point those people who are who, who, Sakhas of Bhagwan? they are actually coming from the Bhagwan Balram and they are not different from Balram you understand the point the Jeevas what, there are two categories of Jeeva I have already told you Nitya Bad and Nitya Mukt Two categories, Nitya Mukt. They are on to the lotus feet of Krishna all the time. They are having their remembrance. There is two categories. So in the Jivas, that in order after getting Siddha, when the Jivas are actually some Jivas who are getting uh, that Siddha platform, after that he can go to that situation. That Sadhan Siddha, Jiva. He can come to the platform of Prema. That Sadhan Siddha. And Nitya Siddha Jivas are also there. Oh, you, are, you can't understand my point what I want to speak I want to speak that Nitya Siddha Jeevas that they are already Nitya from, from uh, infinity time period they are already Siddha that the, those who have their Swaroop in Golok Vrindavan Vakunt that Nitya Krishna Seva they are doing all the time and for in bonded Jeevas if just by doing bhajan someone actually going he has got Siddhi in his Sadhan Siddhi he is actually Sadhan Siddha so in the Vakunt Jagat that especially in Golok Dham, Nitya Siddha definitely there and Sadhan Siddha after getting that after that they can go to Golok they can they just like Nitya Siddha they can get the respect and that, uh, the Seva they can get like Nitya Siddha only you understand the point but Balram, from, from, from Balram when all those uh, Parikars are getting manifested that they are actually not different from Balram they are not at all bonded jivas at all. That Shri Dham, Sudham, Vasudham, they are actually serving Bhagwan. They are not different from Balram. What actually told here? All the, by the Sevya Bhav, serving mood, by serving mood only, that all the time we are actually remembering and Tad Anushilan, Tad Anushilan, 
Brajwasi is under their guidance, we are actually liking the seva of a particular Brajwasi just by doing their Anushilan, that same kind of bhava, bhavna, that Rup Gun Leela of that Bhagwan, of the transcendental Bhagwan, with full Rup Gun Bhav. Tulya means that what I have already told you. That is Tulya Tano. That it is just like Bhagwan. It is not different from Bhagwan. This because he they are also Chinmay and Bhagwan is also transcendental. That devotees are transcendental and Bhagwan is also transcendental platform. And that same Adi Purush, that same Adi Purush Govind, I am worshipping. I am worshipping that same Adi Purush Govind. The in the actual purport and conclusion. Bhakti under the Anugati of Bhakti no Thakur, if we will actually make the vichar, Srila Sachinun Bhakti no Thakur have already told this in purport that uh, Jeevas are. I have already told you that the Bhakti is of two, uh, two types one is Vedi and other is Raganuga. Two types of Bhakti are there one is Vedi Bhakti and one is Raganuga Bhakti. In this Vedi Bhakti, what it is? That only the Shastras and Guru Upadesh, only Shastra on the basis of Shastra, on the basis of Shastras and Guru Upadesh, according to the actual instructions of Guru Varga, Guru Dev, those what kind of a very small Shraddha, minute Shraddha, Shraddha Mula Bhakti they are, they are doing, that is called. Shastra Vidhi Bandhan Ukta Vedi Bhakti with full uh, restrictions of rules and regulations of Shastras that is aprachur that is they are not at all abounded you understand the point only by the rules and regulations and strict rules and regulations of Shastra and on the instructions of Guru Upadesh some kind of Shraddha Mulya Bhakti can arise that is called in the Shastras it is spoken it is not at all abounded and limited that is not at all limited and abounded to anything that kind of Krishna Anushilan Cheshta that kind of Cheshta towards Krishna Anushilan it is becoming transformed into Bhavmai Bhakti that Krishna Anushilan Swarup Bhavmai it is actually taking that form but it is not like that that Bhav after getting Bhav getting inside the heart the devotees can become the actual pot of the kripa of Bhagwan. When the bhav is getting inside the heart of devotees, he can get the kripa of Krishna. He can get become the pot of Krishna to get that kripa patri he can become. Just from this, uh, in this, just by getting this situation or condition in his life, after getting this condition, that bhav, that bhav platform, it will take a lot of time to get that platform of bhav. According to the Shastra's strict rules and regulations, on the basis of that, it is actually already fixed. That is called it Vaidhi Bhakti. According to that, there is another Bhakti, apart from this, about which I am actually told in Rag Varma Chandrika. That's all I have already told there in Kartik month. So, Ragatmika Bhakti is definitely more uh, prominent. Ragatmika Bhakti is definitely prominent. Why? Why? Because if someone asking that why Ragatmika Bhakti is prominent, if someone asking that Maharaj, why Ragatmika Bhakti, why it's prominent? Ragatmika Bhakti is prominent is because the first thing is that it is it will give uh, the fruit very quickly. And it is just attracting Krishna towards uh, that. Krishna is attracted towards that particular devotee who is following Ragatmika Bhakti. How this? How it? What it? What it kind? What it is kind of? It's already told here. Guru Gaura. That Shanta Bhav. Sebhya Bhata Dasya Bhav. Sahajat Pranigata Dasya Bhav. Vatsalya Bhav. And Kaam Gata Madurja Bhav. This is actually divided into these five different kind of Bhava. This is all different different kind of Rakatmika Bhakti can be there. This is all the actual category of uh, coming in the category of Rakatmika Bhakti. Krodh Bhitti Mohan. 
दिस इज एक्चुअली ऑफ रगात्मिका इट इज रगात्मिका बट स्टिल इट इज नॉट एट ऑल भक्ति रागात्मिका बट स्टिल इट इज नॉट एट ऑल भक्ति वाई बिकॉज वाई इट इज नॉट भक्ति बिकॉज दैट इट इज एक्चुअली अगेंस्ट दीज आर ऑल कॉल्ड प्रतिकूल भाव विच इज अगेंस्ट दैट क्रोध क्रोध मीन्स एंगर क्रोध हेयर एक्चुअली टोल्ड एंगर मीन्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दिस क्रोध वर्ड मीन्स एंगर क्रोध भीति मोह मोह these are they are actually ragatmika in nature but still not bhakti because inside that there is actually pratikul bhav pratikul means against bhav is there it means that for what purpose you need it is not at all bhakti it is ragatmika krodh bhiti moho these are not at all bhakti because pratikul bhav is there in this and what in the definition of bhakti i have already told you शिशुपाल शिशुपाल एटसेट्रा ऑल इन द असूर दे आर हैविंग एंगर कंस एटसेट्रा असूर दे आर हैविंग दैट फियर and all those mayavadi pandits they have moha and this kind of anger moha and fear fear fearfulness and those all kind of rakshista they are having if it is there towards bhagwan and swarupti rup pran chesta means that towards the brahm we want brahm vastu that kind of moha in that that he want to get the brahm brahma brahm brahmata in himself which is already there inside his body he just want to get that brahm that in this all uh, uh, bhava it is not at all anikul for ragatmik bhakti but still it is not at all bhaktitva it is ragatmik in nature but it's not bhaktitva after that sakya vatsalya madhurya dasya in all this rasya that's in shant bhav that there can be a very sad mood you can get out on out of that because shant dasya i've already told no in shant ras in a very fine form that kind of uh, rag atmik rag is there but still it is in hidden form it is uh, next to impossible it is already none no rag atmik rag atmik is there in shant bhav but still if our heart is anukul this in it, it is actually you can count it in the limb of bhakti and other bhav that four bhavs definitely inside them that bhagwan actually that rag is there towards bhagwan this gita in the gita pravachan bhagwan actually speaking this is the actual pratigya of bhagwan that kaam krodh moho this all actually are ragatmik but still that sayujya moho that they can get sayujya moho sayujya means oneness with brahma and shant that what you, what you get of shant that brahm parmatma swarup you can get in that to get one oneness with that brahm effulgence that parmatma brahm swarup in that shant swarup that brahma parmatma parmatma paratva roop you can get in that you can get this it means that and dasya sakya that kind of adhikar according to your adhikar according to your adhikar and eligibility definitely that kind of you can get the association of bhagwan according to your uh, eligibility and in shingar swarup that kind of uh, shuddh gopi swarup you are getting in that that in shingar roop so this actually already told by brahma ji everything he has told in front of us
तनुम्मा पुरी ते गोविंदमादि पुरुषम तमहम बजामी ये होता है दिस इज एक्चुअली देयर and again if you go forward then you can find this shloka i have already told you in details about this shloka this shloka i have already told of this 55th number shloka in detail i have already told you parichind anubhad i have already told and after that after that in the 56th number shloka this is a very big shloka very long shloka it is What actually told here? Very long shlok it is. Very very long shlok it is. the first uh, this uh, this shlok it uh, we can very easily understand the first line of the shloka the actual anuvad of that we can very easily understand what actually written here this is a uh, straight point only the first line there is only one shlok but this first part and second part is there it means that the same place kolok vrindavan is there what has you written that that same place kolok vrindavan that's place where chinmayi lakshmi's that kanta rupa means that that with it is actually the shak, own shakti of bhagwan haladini shakti and param purush krishna is only the actual kanta and at that place particular place that all those transcendental lakshmis they are param purush he is the actually kanta who is attracting all the kanti towards him and all those trees and actually herbs bushes all are actually transcendental in nature that that chinmay munis 
and chinmay water everything is transcendental that kind of nectar you can get and still uh, when you are just speaking hari katha when you are speaking katha here and just by uh, walking also you are thinking that it's just like full nectar and what does it mean here What does it mean? After this, what is what it is there? What is there? Chidanandamoy. 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 That Chidanandamoy. Paramochit padatmatve asadu bhavko. Jaha. Where? That millions and millions of surbi cows, co cows are available, and uh, they are all transcendental. that kind of maha kheer ocean uh, uh, flow of uh, uh, milk is there and uh, from the millions of surbi cows the milk is flowing that in past and present and in future that kind of uh, chinmay kal that this is not at all destructible time this is actually transcendental time here it is called the up to nimesh ard that bhut dharm that is not at all material at all it is transcendental in nature that shweta deep that same shweta deep that param peet i am actually worshiping that shweta deep and that same dham that same dham in this material world in this material world that that same dham in this material world that all those rare sadhus they are actually speaking that is actually golok we, we can just realize that it is just like golok all the sadhus are actually realizing and speaking this so shlok is very important just careful on this shlok again After this, that what is the inner meaning of this? What the what is the inner meaning of this? Inner inner, inner meaning what is there? Is, uh, like at the at that place, at that place, at that particular place. that all those jeevas all that in the ras bhajan they are getting that place that golok vrindavan that place or that golok vrindavan for those jeevas that is uh, that's that by only ras bhajan by doing that ras bhajan they can get that place and without ras bhajan they cannot go to that that particular place that all those jeevas that sarv sarv krishna and by only by doing rasa bhajan 
that it is actually specially chinmay but it is still he is actually topmost transcendental in nature that place is topmost transcendently trans in transcendental it is not at all nirvishesh at all by krodh bhay and moh that nirvishesh brahma dham you can get and all the devotees according to their rasa the devotees according to their rasa they achieved that the devotees according to the rasas they achieved in the chit jagat all those devotees according to their rasa bhava they are getting that in that rasa they are actually getting established and that's they are getting the golok only after that and in that just by speaking that it is vishuddha that some place if you are speaking that same that same place is called uh, shwetadip that vishuddha that vishudh it is actually titled that same dham is shwetadip in this material world those people who are actually getting that charam ras of that bhakti siddhi he can get and they have already got in their life for those people for those jivas they jivas in this material world who are getting this topmost charam bhakti ras they have got in their life for those people they are actually getting out of the three modes of this material nature and they will get established in gokul vrindavan and in shri navadvip that same shweta deep tatva they can realize that and uh, they are actually titling it that as golok and same golok in that golok that kant and kant rivers mountains water katha everything of this the, of that dham he can understand its transcendental nature he can get the rasa out of that transcendental rasa he can taste that and he can take the actual nectar out of all those of all this which is present in the transcendental dham in the vedas and the puranas also in the tantra the shastras a lot of places it is already written in lot of places it is already seen that golok that there is varnadvesh in the shandaka upanishad it is written priyad javana javanava ayam akasho stavaneshu antar हृदय आकाशः आकाशः उतो अस्मिन् दाप्या पृथ्वी अंतरेर अंतरेन समाहिते उभो अग्निश्चो वायुश्चो सूर्यो चंद्रमशो उभो विद्युत नक्षत्राणि तक्षाणि the actual purport of this conclusion is that of this purport the actual purport is that that in this material world the actual uh, in inner meaning of this inner purport is that that in this material world that whatever kind of uh, diversity we can see in this material world whatever kind of diversity in this same material world in this same material world in this material world whatever kind of uh, different diversities are there we can see this all diversities it is more than that that in that that special diversity is already there in golok dham that chit jagat all kind of special uh, uh, qualities and diversities it means 
that it is on this material it is very much disappointing it means that that kind of vishad in the transcendental world it is actually chidanandmay in nature and that shuddh bhakti is taking samadhi and this pure devotion is taking samadhi bhagwan vyasdi vyasdi maharaj has already told so here actually told that shuddh bhakti is taking samadhi just by taking samadhi in this pure devotion that ved udit under the guidance of pure devotees that bhakti yeah, by the transcendental chit vritti of that pure devotion that same dham he is capable of seeing that with the transcendental eyes and on the basis of krishna kripa that according to his own chit vritti his fine vritti inside his heart that uh, on the basis of the power given by krishna and what on on the krishna kripa power by the power of krishna prika kripa they these uh, they can get that anant chit vilas of that dharma and in that uh, transcendental dham they can get the association of krishna samya means bhog bhog means association with krishna very in depth vichar can be made it can long lasting vichar you can get out of this in paramam op word that all kind of transcendental uh, upliftment and growth that paratattva is actually getting established in that only in this meaning param param tattva that par op word in this actually already getting uh, manifested in this that paratattva meaning so param op tada shabd bodhe ke nigudo arth hai this is nigud arth nigud arth means secondary arth and in all these words inke asabd tattva se radhika punay mahima radhika jo krishna ka that she radhika who, who is actually realizing the rasa of krishna and on the basis of this uh, uh, realization that kind of uh, happiness what radharani is getting for the actual happiness of krishna that bhavatra krishna just by getting tasting that rasa krishna is getting topmost anand kya radhika radhika simati radharani ka simati radharani that is uh, what is the actual pranay mahima of shrimati yeah. radharani what is that aur eh? radhika rani jo and radhika rani who what kind of rasa she is actually realizing for krishna that whatever happiness she is getting radharani in that krishna rasa by tasting that krishna rasa what is that radhika jo krishna rasa krishna radhika rani that is actually tasting that krishna rasa in that in that same realization that kind of uh, happiness she is getting in all these three things if we are take all together all three bhava if we are taking all together that bhagwan shri krishna in with all the three bhavs bhagwan shri krishna he is actually manifested himself in the form of gorang swarup in uh, front of us on this material platform previously There is one uh, tika of Swarup Gosai in Chaitanya Jirudamrit Shlok one there. Pranaya Mahima Kirtrisho Banaiva Shabdo Jina Bhuto Madurima Kirtrisho Va Madhiyaha Shoksham Chasya Madhane Bhavataha Kirtrisham Beti Leva Vidva Eti Lohad Tad Bhavaddo Samajani Sachigarva Sindhu Harin Kya Bata Hai? What actually written here? Si Radhaya Pranaya Mahima Kirtrisho That all the three reasons 
दैट हावट इज एक्चुअल प्राणी महिमा ऑफ राधा रानी एंड वॉट इज ऑफ दैट माई मधुरी माई इन साइड माई हार्ट दैट रसा दैट वॉट शी मजी राधा रानी इज टेस्टिंग ऑल द टाइम वॉट इज इट लुक्स लाइक एंड आवर दिस मधुर माया दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल रियलाइजेशन एंड वॉट हैप्पीनेस राधा रानी इज गेटिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दीज थ्री रीजन्स कृष्ण इज मैनिफेस्टिंग हिमसेल्फ इन फॉर्म ऑफ गोवरंग You understand the point? These all three reasons are there, and before that, I have you already know that. That about this in Brahm Samhita, I I have already told you regarding this. That this. This uh, in-depth meaning I have already told you of this word. That Parama Mupi means that all kind of Chidanand Vikas, growth and maturity of that Chidanand Maya Bhav. In this word, that asadya tattva in wind, that Sri Mati Radhika Purnam Brane Mahima. What is that? That Radha Rani in Krishna Ras. What kind of happiness? What Krishna is actually getting realization regarding that tattva, and what kind of happiness Radha Rani is getting after tasting that Krishna Rasa? So all these three reason are the actual advent. That same bhava, Gorang is actually coming. About by this only, that same Shweta Deep is actually manifested here. These all things what we are discussing in Shweta Deep all the time transcendently present there in Shweta Deep. Definitely it is there in Shweta Deep. So it's clearly actually it is written here. You understand the point? Here, up till today, we will be finishing up till today. Now here, tomorrow, ah, uh, maybe the next uh, discussion we will do on seventeenth of uh, April. On seventeenth April, we will be discussing the after after Ram Navmi Katha. When that Saturday Sunday next will be coming? In that uh, Saturday Sunday, I will be discussing. Before that, it is not at all possible. You just forgive me. Up till this point, I will be just giving rest. Up till this point, so I have don't have uh, uh, any. So from here only, I want to start it again. My thing is that from I will start it away. Uh, again from this shloka very nice shloka from here i will start again on 17th i will be starting it uh, afterwards so jaloja jaloja navalakshani stavara lakshabingshati kramayu rudra shankaka pakshinam dashalakshakam trinksha lakshani pasavah chatur lakshani manushah cho jaloja navalakshani stavara bin lakshabingshati कृमयो रुद्र शंक्षक पक्षी नाम दशलक्षक त्रिंशक्षा पशभ चतुर्लक्षा मानव वाचकुष पतितान पावन भो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमः